Does anybody have a testimony from um, any of the other Bible studies? Chantel? Yeah. What's your testimony, sister? Okay. Um, hello, everyone. Hi, Miss Peggy. Hi. Um, so after the last Bible study, I did request prayer. Mm -hmm. It just came out of me to ask for um, prayer against bad dreams I've been having. Mm -hmm. I did not plan it. So I just, it was a God thing. I know that for sure. And um, I felt deliverance happen. Mm -hmm. And after that, uh, so I went downstairs after the prayer and the power of God was so strong upon me that it stayed for maybe three hours. I got revelations. I, it was it was such an experience because um, the morning before the prayer, I was out of joy. I wanted to cry out of like distress. Um, so that was really a blessing for me and my family. Mm -hmm. I know my grandma got healed. I, I just like touched her under the power and she got healed of like these body pains. My mom fell over under the power of God. It was an incredible Easter for us. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, about the dreams, they did come, but I got stronger in my dreams. Amen. It was like my spirit was awake praying as I was having these nightmares. It was incredible. And I know the Lord really did something awesome. And um, I'm just so excited for what's coming. Praise God. I remember the Holy Spirit gave me a word that um, after the meeting, that the power of God was going to remain on you for quite a while. Well, it did. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of times people have bad dreams and, you know, they get prayed for and they receive deliverance, but sometimes the dreams don't all go away. God is teaching us how to war. Mm -hmm. Jesus, God did not remove the enemies around God's people. He taught us how to war. You know, I've often said, why did Jesus have to go into the desert? You know, the wilderness, that 40 day fast tempted by the devil. And I remember one time praying and the Holy Spirit showed me that even Jesus needed to know the power within him. Amen. Because we have God, but the Holy Spirit, the grace, the power in the Holy Spirit Jesus could do no miracles without the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Even in deliverance, Holy Spirit is our teacher. We are never alone. We have the greatest power of the universe. What's a nuclear bomb compared to the Holy Spirit who knows everything? Mm -hmm. Living right inside of us. This is who we are. Amen. So we praise Amen. God for you. We thank you, Father. Father, we release your training. We ask you to take Chantel deeper into warfare. Thank you that she depends on you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Father, that you allow her spiritual eyes to see more, her spiritual ears to hear more. We thank you for your goodness, Jesus. We thank you that you clear the land, Father that you clear the secrets within her heart so that you have full control, that wickedness is cast aside, all stones, every hindrance, everything that has gotten a place in her is removed as you overtake her. We ask you to increase in your daughter in Jesus' beautiful name. Amen? Amen. What do you want to say to Jesus? Oh, I love you, Jesus. He loves you too. So your grandma feels better, huh? Yes, yeah, she feels better. You see? She's healed. <laughs> She's healed. And you see, that's the thing. You know, we need to see that God is still with us. Would anybody else like prayer? Okay, hold on. Jean, your hand was up first. What would you like prayer for? Um, let me just say a bit about what, I, what I've been experiencing, especially in regards to dreams. Just like Chantel said, I used to have a lot of um, horrible dreams, horror dreams, and maybe I think I told you last time that sometimes I find myself not getting through to do something that I would have, I was supposed to do, receiving something 
but um but from the time I think I prayed with you, the first appointment I had, I've just realized that even in the dreams, I'm able to stand up firmly and speak to whatever is coming my way and just say, get up, I can you move out. Uh, this is my position. Amen. Very, I've been surprised because the, more, the many times that I've felt, felt like, oh, it didn't happen in the dream. How come that I just ended here? I find myself very strong and able to just um, speak out and ask it to move out of my way. Amen. Because this is how God operates in us today. You know, in the spirit realm, God is still around us as a cloud by day and fire by night. He's always protecting us. But the world is not going to see that. How God operates in us is us in him. And we're learning. We're commanding. We are taking our authority in Christ. We know the Parisiites, the Rephaim, and all the rest of the ites, they're still here. They're still around us. But it's how we, with God, use our authority to take them out. Now, You've learned your authority, you're learning, we're all learning. Now, what would happen if somebody came to you, Jean or Chantel, and said, wow, I'm having these crazy nightmares. They're tormenting me and I don't know what to do. Would you both be able to tell them? Would you both be able to show them? Would you both be able to command them out and take the testimony for Jesus Christ? Yes, you would. You see, this is how people in the world today see us. They're not reading the Bible. They're they're looking online. They're looking for God. They've done the church deal. They've heard all about it. Like I said, they've heard the cross. They still see God's people sick. But this is how God is with us today. This is how we are marching forward. There is a difference between the saved and the unsaved, and it is found in union with Jesus and the Holy Spirit. We don't have to go through this alone, one day or one night. And when we understand that, people are going to want to know our Jesus. So Jean, what do you want to say to Jesus for teaching you warfare in your dreams? I just want to say thank you so much for defending me and fighting for me. Because it wasn't, it's not me, he does it for me. I cry out to him and he goes forth for me. He, he, he loves us. He's here for us, for real, for real. We just have to let other people see him. That's what people are desperate for. Amen? We give God all the glory and we're always here for each other. If we have a need, we stand in faith for one another. Amen. Praise God. Anybody else want some prayer? Hi, Jen. How are you? Hi, Peggy. It's nice to see you. you. (laughs) What would you like Jesus to do for you today? Well, I really appreciate those past two testimonies. And, um, that's really like encouraging to me because I've had so many bad dreams and so many years of them. And, um, so I, I just, I'm praying for that, that same thing for God to teach me in the dreams, how to warfare. There's been times, you know, and, um, I, I really, I I wake up and it's so exciting and I'm like, hallelujah, you know, Amen. uh, Amen. I really, I really would like that part of my life to line up with what the Lord says, you know, and, 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 and and know in my spirit, how strong he is and how strong you are in him. You're learning torment is not something we're going to put up with. So Mm -hmm. we reach out, we want prayer, we want deliverance and God delivers. God has delivered much, but he's also showing us all the different enemies around us. Did anybody ever hear of the Parisiites before? Because they're big. They're the, they're the stubborn ones that just sit in that gate. And you know, it's like hmm, nothing, 
you, people don't even realize until one day they're like, why is this not stopping? What are these hindrances? Amen. Father, we release your fire into Jennifer. Everyone pray. Thank you, Father, that you overtake her, that you overtake the enemy, that you remove all doubt and unbelief, every lie, everything that has just casually told her this is going to happen forever because that's the lie in Jesus name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your fire on her mind, Father, in Jesus' beautiful name. Thank you for setting her feet free to walk with you in your authority, in Jesus' name. What do you sense is happening, Jen? I'm feeling a lot of fire in my belly. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The enemy's been lying to you. You know, those non-threatening ones that just so casually say <laughs> You can live with this. It's just normal. It's not normal. You know better. You're not putting up with it. I know you. Thank you, Jesus, for her fire. Teach her, Father. Teach her, Father. Thank you that you overcome all with the blood of Jesus. Blood on every entrance, every tunnel, Father. Every tunnel that the enemy comes through in the night seasons, we ask you to close. Thank you, Father. The Amorites there. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Father, for all the cave dwellers, Father. We thank you that you set her free from their torment. We bind all astral projection in the night seasons. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, that you seal her gates with the blood-covered seal of Jesus Christ. Father, I also ask for blood covered arrows to be sent in her dreams in Jesus name towards any enemy. Thank you that you uncover all this is leaving the front of your right now, Jennifer. Thank you, Jesus. Hi, Jose. Thank you, Jesus, for setting her free in Jesus. Beautiful name. Thank you, Lord. What do you feel happening, Chantel? I mean, it's like a, I don't know. God's covering you, Jen. He's covering you. We're all praying. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's like a bobbing in my belly. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about that, Jen? Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Because we're the body. We're marching together. We're under one head. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We give I just want to accurately reflect his love. You know, that's my biggest thing. I just want people Amen. to see the love of God through me, mm. you know? Yeah. So. so ask the Holy Spirit, what needs to be cleared out of my land? Man. What's my attitude like? Yep. Is my attitudes reflecting you? What What's my character traits? Are my character traits reflecting you, God? Study the character of God. Compare it to yourself. Amen. Repent. Let it go. Let hey, it go. Lord. <laughs> Much love to you, sister. Thank you, Please sister. With you. Appreciate you guys. Amen. Oh, God. Thank Michael you. and Yuli. Hi. Hi. How are you? Great. Do you have a testimony or do you need prayer? Both testimony and prayer. Okay. Testimony <laughs> first. So last uh, Bible study two weeks ago, after you pray, my daughter Lenes is more happier and because he's happy, I'm happy. So that is a big testimony for me because, as you know, I such a lover, and so she's very happy girl. So I'm happy. So you that know, is my testimony. Amen. I remember the first amen. time I prayed with you. God had me say, you know, you wanted prayer for Lynette, but I knew God wanted to do healing in your family. I've seen it so many times. So many times, and, and I hear God saying, you know, we don't ask big. We don't ask big. We'll, we'll ask for one family member, but everybody in the family needs Jesus, needs prayer. We all need prayer. We all Amen. need deliverance. Deliverance and clearing out the land is the same thing. Amen. So what, Thank do, you, you, Jesus. what do you want prayer for, Yuli? I want more of him. I want all. Oh, God. <laughs> How come you want more of him? Because I love him. Amen. Father, you love me. <laughs> I just hear the Lord saying today is Yuli's day. 
Thank yes, you. Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now I'm seeing in the spirit realm, the Lord has this book. These, these are, this is a book of your prayers, Yuli. He's flipping through oh, pages. She's been waiting. Yes. She's been believing. She has continued yes, on in faith. There you go. Thank you. The power of God is on you now. Oh, Yuli, oh. enjoy. You've waited a long time for this. The Lord <laughs> says he is setting you free from the burdens that have plagued your life. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Oh, oh Jesus. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Glory to you, oh, oh God. Yuli, oh. the Lord is showing me when you were a little girl, you suffered. You had a lot of questions. Yes. There was a lot of pain. The Lord is setting you free. Why is the Thank Lord God. doing this now? Because he couldn't get through before. There was so much other junk that needed to be cleared out. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for setting her free. Thank you Jesus, for setting her free. Thank you, for <laughs> Thank you for healing her soul. Command all word curses. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for filling her with childhood love from heaven in Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Father, for healing her soul, removing the wounds. <laughs> Thank you, Father, for overtaking. Territory back for the kingdom. No wounds. Weapons form, but they're not allowed to cross. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God has a lot to say to you, Yuli. He has lots of time that he wants to catch up with you. Thank you. Thank you for clearing out all idolatry, all the roots, Father. <laughs> Father, <sighs> thank you, Jesus. When I say that, I'm not saying she was an idol worshiper. Idols <laughs> around her. Where did you grow up? Where did she grow up? <sighs> Indonesia? <laughs> Indonesia? Yes. Yeah, good. <sighs> all roots out in Jesus' name. <laughs> it was like they just closed you in. Remove them, Lord. Thank you. Yep. Thank you for opening the heavens, Father, removing the dark clouds of the enemy over her in Jesus' name. Grace, God. This is a beautiful day for you, Yuli. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. God has so much love for you, Yuli. He's filling you. And he has lots to talk to you about. I just see him walking with you and he's yapping. Bah, 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 bah. I can't even keep up with how fast he's talking to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He loves you. No time is lost. Amen. Amen. Yes. Childhood purity, Father. Childhood faith in the kingdom. The virgin daughter of the Lord. In the Bible, when we hear the word virgin, it means our identity our pure identity in Jesus Christ. Be restored. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> he loves you. You are beloved of the king. Thank you, Lord. Thanks. But the enemies around you are definitely not. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, everything she's been through for the kingdom of heaven to set other people free. Use the both of them, Father. You have received yes. so much in their lives, Lord. Make yes. this a time of ministry for the people around them. Let the people come, Father. Let the people come. Let them find you when they arrive in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. I believe, I believe it too. In fact, the Lord moved you into that new house for the people in that area around you. Praise Jesus. There's your lines and your portion. He strategically positioned you. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Cecile, what would you like the Lord to do? Nice to meet you, Peggy. And nice to meet you everybody too. here. God bless everybody here. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. I'd like um, deliverance for ringing in the ear. And I also want to repent that it's something that has caused me to um become a barrier between me and God. And I just want to repent to everybody here Amen. and ask the Lord to forgive me of that. Amen. 
Now the Lord forgives us. When we say we're sorry, he forgives us. But when things continue, that's called a struggle. When we have a struggle, we confide in somebody we can pray with and they stand in the gap in that struggle with us. So we're gonna stand in the gap for you right now. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You believe Jesus will do this, Cecilia? Absolutely. That's good, because he already started. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bind and break everything from the past, every curse, every spirit, especially religion. In Jesus' beautiful name, get off of her. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, here's her opening. Thank you, Jesus. Get off in Jesus' name. I do have to calm down a little bit. <laughs> no, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Fire. Everything that she was baptized into in religion, we command their helmets off her head, out of her ears, in Jesus' beautiful name. When? Immediately. Now. Thank you, Father, for the blood. Thank you for the atonement. Thank you that we walk in our authority in you, in Jesus' name. Actually, the thing was hiding in your throat. Thank you, Lord. Out, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Everything with religion, I bind you off of her. You will never return to her again. And here comes living water from heaven onto you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for Cecilia. I command death off of her right now in Jesus' name. Premature death off of her anointing in Jesus' name. Off her family in Jesus' name. Yes. Religion, you are dead. Yes. You are dead to her family right now in Jesus' name. Let the person of God overtake this family in Jesus' name. Yes. Divine appointments, divine salvation. We command yes, devil's blinders off of her family in Jesus' beautiful Lord. name. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord loves you, Cecilia. He has heard all your prayers. He's Thank you. with you. Thank, Thank you, Father. You. Father, everything that has a voice not of yours, I bind your mouth shut in Jesus' name. I feel like he's doing surgery inside my soul. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. All religion, all divination, all sorcery, witchcraft, magic from the past into the present, into the future, off of her family, off of her children. Thank you for blessing her husband and family. I don't know how much you got, but God does. Thank you, Jesus. Here it comes right out of your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for setting her free. Every bit of bondage off of her now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. What do you sense the Lord is doing, Cecilia? Like a surgery in my soul. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. This is lies. This is tradition. This is the stuff we believed. And it just sat and sat and sat until you could hear nothing but them in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for setting her free. Thank you for that. I, I had... um grown up as a catholic and everybody around me is catholic except for me so i still am trying to break those walls amen so now you know who your walls are huh yeah so when their walls come against you how do you pick your walls up you praise you pray you read the bible you go deeper into god you know what those walls are to you they are something to overcome amen. let the light of god in you shine through those walls into your family into your neighbors. I was raised Catholic. There's nothing wrong with being Catholic. There's nothing wrong with being a Baptist or a whatever or a whatever, as long as the person of God is the one you're worshiping. Amen? Amen. For me, the statues meant nothing. But as a little girl, as soon as my knees hit that kneeler, I knew Jesus was there. I told him all my problems and I had tons, tons. I couldn't wait to get there just to tell him all my problems. <laughs> and guess what he's the same today tell him all your problems speak to the rock he's the rock you have to talk to him amen he wants to hear it all amen amen thank you, thank you jesus the fire of god is going through your ears your eyes your nose your throat 
-hmm. Father, deliverance from the inside, open every gate that was closed by the enemy. I see the gate. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I said the Holy Spirit. What's a nuclear bomb to the Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit, drop a bomb anywhere that the enemy has hindered her path in Jesus' name. And Jen's path, all of our paths. Amen? Amen. 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 Because this is who we are when we know our authority in Christ. Nothing is hard for God. He's just waiting on us to respond to him. What do you want to say to Jesus? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And praise be to you. Amen. And all the glory be for you. Thank you, Jesus. Everything out of our eyes. Thank you. It's coming out now. Thank you, Lord. You're being delivered. Thank you, Jesus. Thank yes, you. the bomb landed, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Anybody else like prayer? Janice? Hi, Peggy. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm well. You have a testimony or would you like prayer? Um, both, kind of. Okay. Yeah. It's the same literally as Chantel and the other lady with the dreams. Like last week I had this dream and um, I was stepping on white snakes and a green dragon. So, yeah, I know that the enemy is fighting me a lot in my dreams. And I also had another one where two ladies was attacking me, but I was fighting back. So Amen. I'm getting stronger as well. Yeah. Amen. And also... You prayed for me in October of last year. Remember when you we had that one-on-one -on -one session? Mm -hmm. You broke that curse of fear of my family. My mother had this dream about a cupboard burning at night, every night. This is this is now this was a regular thing. She had this certain time that she woke up. It wasn't the same time every night, but she would wake up every night and. It would sound like someone scratching in the drawers. And she had so much fear because of that. She was afraid to go to sleep at night or just waking up. And she had this dream about that. And she's not saved. Mm -hmm. She had this dream yeah. about that cup of burning. Yet, yet. <laughs> she's almost there. Mm -hmm. She had a dream about that cupboard burning. And that spirit's gone. It's gone. Mm -hmm. She's sleeping soundly now. No problem. Praise so that's God. huge for my one sister was baptized today. So I just <laughs> want to give her the glory. <laughs> my sister, my Muslim sister, her daughter also asked me to to lead her in prayer to salvation. So, but I told her she's she's loving with her boyfriend, mm -hmm. and she needs to. You can't just get saved and not have a repentant life. So she needs to get married, and I will take her through the process. And Amen. and they're Muslim. They're Muslim. Yes, yes. She's Muslim. but she wants she to get wants. saved. Amen. Yes. Praise God. She's getting married next month, no? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody in your family, may I? Because I'm not in a counseling. I can wait. You can talk. <laughs> Somebody in your family was into necromancy, worshiping the dead, talking to we, the dead. Oh, we 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 belong to. Um, can I mention the ministry, <laughs> the New Apostolic Church? Okay, that's good. Church. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, you're into it? No, the church every fourth month they would have a week where they pray for the dead. And they would tell us to invite the dead to church. We need to speak to them. and Because we used to get, I used to get the sleep paralysis every four. In that week, I would be like, I would get choked down. And I would tell my mother, why do these spirits come and sit on me? I can't even move. I'm paralyzed. And it happened to all of us in my mother's house, at least. And um, that's when I started questioning. What's going on? This can't be normal. You say that it's dead people that, that needs salvation, but they're at their time on earth. So I was confused, and that's how I ended up being saved, you know? so Wow. You see, the enemy always makes mistakes, and God <laughs> always gleans from the mistakes like the salvation of your soul. So the Lord is, is talking to you. He's teaching you about clearing your land, and then the Holy Spirit reads you know, reveals these white snakes that you're stepping on. And the Lord tells me that they're maggots from hell. And somebody is doing necromancy. So here's the thing. 
we many religions especially the old-fashioned religions uh they pray to saints they pray to those who are dead god is alive we are alive amen but and and you know sometimes we'll, we'll say a prayer and we'll, we'll mention a saint or whatever but you know what we we want to worship god but the thing is is that it goes farther because here's here's the the sleazy little snake just moving one way to the right or to the left like people will say oh i can just feel my deceased dad's presence you know in the house or i can hear him talking to me that that is not dad those are familiar spirits there's familiar spirits those and familiar and familial spirits it's hell it's deceiving they're opening gates we don't speak to the dead we certainly don't welcome him into our house. We do just the opposite. So the Lord has uncovered the root of your problem today, your dreams. He's uncovered it. We thank you, Jesus, for setting everybody free. Amen. Also, I, I always felt I have this delay in my life. I would even have dreams when I'm stuck. I'll, I'll be stuck in a maze and I would get out. And I would realize there's another maze that I have to go through, but then it would be too difficult. Mm. Or I'll be stuck in a car, get out of the car, climb over more cars, but there's no way out of the road. It's like, I'm always just stuck somewhere. Mm. I find myself even in school, in primary school, and I'm always late for mm. class or something like that. Mm -hmm. It just feels like- most of too. us have had dreams like that. Even even in the night seasons where you want to scream out Jesus' name and nothing's coming out, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Father, we ask you to take every fragment of Janice out of any room that the enemy has had her in. Thank you for uncovering the roots, Lord. Thank you that you close. I don't know why, but I picked up the tunnel today. Close every tunnel of the enemy. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father, for your protective hedges high around her, Lord, high around all of us in Jesus' name. Thank you that you protect us and you set us free because you are a good Father. We love you, Jesus. I speak peace into everyone's home where the enemy is crouching in Jesus' beautiful name. I command all spirits of fear off of everyone in this group in Jesus' beautiful name. Thank you, Father, that we are moving forward. We decree this. We declare this in you. We thank you, Father, that you have shown us that the enemy, there's nothing new under the sun, that he attacks the people of God many times in the same way, especially in the night seasons. We thank you, Father, that you release angels of deliverance in our rooms. We command every portal of the enemy closed in Jesus' beautiful name. Father, we know that you will show yourself faithful, that you alone speak to us in the night seasons. We give you all the glory. We look to you as our defender, our stronghold, and our rampart. Father, we thank you for the staff of the shepherd to destroy everything that comes against us in the night seasons, everything that is coming against our families, everything that is coming against our unity in you. We thank you, Father, that you bless our nations, our neighborhoods, our home. We are here to overtake the land that has been stolen. We give you all the glory in jesus name anybody else need prayer hi jennifer how are you what would you like you. jesus to do for you? you have a testimony or would you like prayer two <laughs> i have two two is good yeah. yes this this week i have a, a dream too uh-huh and i see a uh, four snakes in the dream i i was talking like to trouble mm -hmm. and maybe like angels because I didn't see in with my eyes but I see when the snakes throw and and throw out to the drain and this, this day 
the dream. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yes. And that was the dream. And these days I have, a, with the studies you with you, I have a, learned about the identity and the authority that I, I have in, in, Christ, in Christ. And I forward, I go forward in spiritual war and prayer and but the you have I have been attacked with anxiety, 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 mm-hmm. anxiety, anxiety, and a little nervous. Your heart raised. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, but I stay. I I will. I pray, and I know I want to to pray about that. Amen. Amen. Let's everybody pray with our sister. Amen. We are the body of Christ. When a person struggles, we pray. Amen. Father, thank you. We release your fire into Jennifer, into her house, into her dreams. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is telling me that the dream sounds horrible, but it's actually a good dream. Yes. It's actually a very good dream. The Lord is cleansing your house. He's removing the enemy. He's removing the enemy. Thank you, Jesus. The enemy has been after your family for a long time. Thank you, Jesus. He's clearing the land. And in the meantime, we press in. We press in for more, Lord, more. Father, we pray for every family member. We thank you that the fire of you goes through every member of this family in Jesus' name, in every room of this house. Thank you for this house, Lord. Something about this house, Lord. Father, everything on, under, and over this house. Let the fire of God touch it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for your goodness, for your love. Thank you for healing her, Lord. He's taken heaviness off of you, Jen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Lifting off of you right now. Thank you, Jesus. It's lifting off of you right now. More heaviness, more. The Lord is clearing out more. Thank you, because you're not putting up with it. You're praying. You're not, you're not going to let the enemy overtake your family. Thank you, Jesus. We're not either. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Beautiful fire of the spirit in your belly. He's healing your emotions, the wounds. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for healing in Jesus' name and setting her free. Thank you, Father. Remove every enemy in the spirit realm, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Power of God is coming at you, Jen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the house, Father, whirlwind under the house. Thank you, God. The cars, everything, especially that technology. In Jesus' name, peace in every room of this house. Cleansing in every room of this house of all spiritual trace. From every argument, from every word, from every deed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Now, I'm seeing a whirlwind of fire like a tornado going through the rooms of your house. Thank you, Lord. What do you sense the Lord is doing, Jen? I feel fire. Yeah, you should. Thank you, Jesus. Delivers. Thank you, Lord. He's alive. He's here for us. Let God arise. Let our enemies be scattered in Jesus' name. Father, we want the land back. Everything done. Everything taken from the marriage to the children. We want it back now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We push back the darkness in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for setting this family free in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Flood the holes of the enemy, Lord. Flood them in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for peace in marriages. We remove Satan, all of his weapons, all of his blinders from marriages. We ask for every marriage in this room to be healed delivered, set free, and strengthened in the love of God, Mm -hmm. not the love of the world, not Mm -hmm. the false love of the enemy, 
not anything else but you. Let every idol be destroyed in Jesus' name. Everything that gains more attention than the husband, wife, and family in this house, be destroyed in Jesus' name. God defends his marriages. He defends them. When we struggle, we stand together. Amen? This is who God is. His covenant is real. Hallelujah. Michael, what would you yes, like to start? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I've had a ringing in my ears for 30 years. And I've also have still a lot of pain in my back neck, feet, knees, legs, almost everywhere. And I've had these deep pockets in my gums and even my right, uh, left, even my left big toenail is all ugly, deformed, and even that hurts. So I'm just believing all for everything, not to put God in this little box, like only ask Amen. one thing. So. Amen. You. <laughs> you see, when we pray like this, we realize we can ask big. Amen. We can ask big. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you. Amen. Do you believe? Yes. I believe Amen. it. I believe. I believe. I know Jesus is believe. my healer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I see the Lord is right there with you. The Lord is removing something from your spine. Thank you, Jesus. Fire, Father. Yes. Thank you for destroying that weapon. This is good. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is setting you free from stuff of your past. Thank you, Lord. More stuff being broken off. You're going to feel this leaving your head. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Pain, I speak to you. Loose him in Jesus' name. It's like your eyes in the spirit realm. Wow. Thank you, Jesus, for setting Michael free. Thank you, God. <coughs> All pain come out of his body in Jesus' name. Everything that holds him in pain, I command you to loose him in Jesus' name. Let the blood flow. Thank you, Lord. Move your ankles, Michael. Thank you, Jesus. Freedom. Thank you, Jesus. Everything be broken from him in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Overtake every gate in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Father, we pull him from every room, every fragment in Jesus' name. Freedom. He belongs to the Lord. We are setting the captives free because that's who Jesus is. Thank you, God. Everything in the books, loose his name in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Ooh, your back is going to crack. Thank you, Lord. All pain out, all trauma out, every covenant be broken in Jesus' name. Fire in the belly, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Every organ be purged. Thank you, Lord. Body, I command you to be healed in Jesus' name. I command every lie to be removed. You will not believe a thief ever again in Jesus' beautiful name. Move your neck. Move your neck, Michael. Thank you, Father. Michael, get up and walk around. Thank you, Jesus. Get up and walk around. Thank you, Jesus. Every nerve be freed in Jesus' name. Every yeah. web of the enemy off the nerves in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. All spirits of pain come out. Fibromyalgia <coughs> come out in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. We put a demand on our covenant with the Lord. By his stripes, Michael is healed. In Jesus' name, Michael's ready to clear the land and forget the past. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Move around, Michael. Move your back. Do something you couldn't do before. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Lord. What do you sense the Lord is doing? Just feel power of God on my eyes and a little power on my stomach when you pray. Come out in Jesus' name now. Loose him. <coughs> Death, loose him. 
Thank you, Jesus. Every tentacle out in Jesus' name. From every kingdom, fire into your kingdoms in Jesus' name. Free him, Father. Thank you, Jesus. It's all leaving your eyes, Michael. Everybody see how pure white he just turned? Thank you, Jesus. Restoration, Father. Let life return in fullness to Michael. Everything of the enemy come out of him in Jesus' name. All witchcraft, loose him in Jesus' name. All rituals, come out of him in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. <coughs> Fire of God, surround him. Out, witch, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. We speak grace to you, Michael. Unlimited favor. Unlimited power of heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Almost there. Doing good. Thank you, Jesus. Every it under our feet in Jesus' name. Satan, you have lost your power over him. He is the blood-bought child of God, most high, the most high God, the creator of heaven <laughs> and earth. Thank you, Jesus. All occult witchcraft be broken. All mind control, loose your hold in Jesus' name. Father, people have spoken curses over him. Thank you for breaking them all overtaking every covenant, every vow, every oath in Jesus' name. Father, breathe the breath of life into your son. Resurrection power in Jesus' name. All sorcery, all magic, come out. All voodoo, we burn you in Jesus' name. Every sacrifice, meet the blood of my master. Every instrument of sacrifice, meet the cross of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus, for setting him free. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. What are you feeling happening, Michael? It's the power of God on my eyes. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Move around. Do what you couldn't do before. Father, close every hole the enemy ever used him. in Jesus' name. How's your body feeling? Feels, feels better. Still some pain in my neck. Out in Jesus' name. Thank you for life being received. Total takeover in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Believe and receive it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God is clearing out your land, Michael. Clearing and cleansing. Praise Amen. Jesus. Amen. Yes, Jesus. Amen. The I believe it. Greater than the form. Thank you, Jesus. Off the throne, yes. in Jesus' name. Everything that steals life from him, I bind you to the pit. In Jesus' name. Get out, in Jesus' name. Amen. Drive him out. In Jesus' yes. name. Thank you. <laughs> in Jesus name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yes. Clear the land. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for setting him free. All hardness come out. All stiffness come out. Yes. Now, this is our brother. Yes. <laughs> we don't like yes. enemies touching our brother. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank Amen. You, Jesus. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. All poisons out. The roots are coming out. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. No one like Jesus. Amen. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Good job, Yuli. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, every hood of the enemy off of him in Jesus' name. Yes. Every usurper, loose him in Jesus' name. Everywhere you're drinking from him, come out. Everywhere you've imprinted yourself upon his spirit, soul, or body, I bind you with fire in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you. Doing a good job, Michael. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. You put a demand on our covenant. Jesus gave it to us. We're not letting it be stolen. In Jesus' beautiful name. Thank you, Lord. What do you feel happening, Michael? It's the power of God on my head, right over my eyes. Yeah, there was a hood in the spirit realm over you. 
Thank you, Lord. The enemy yes. once treasured you, but you belong to God. Amen. Amen. Praise Jesus. I don't know Christ. what that means to you, but that's what I'm hearing. Thank you, Jesus. <sighs> yeah. Well, unfortunately, I did a lot of gross stuff with the devil. Hmm. But Jesus, how patient but Jesus. How love. The love of yeah. God to die for us when we were his enemy. That'll teach us you. Huh? And Praise we will follow Jesus. his footsteps. Praise God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. It doesn't That's matter if we're tired. Days. It doesn't matter <laughs> if we don't understand. What matters is God is in us and he sets the captives free. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All sickness come out of him. Yes. Stay God, I believe I see it. Death. Every tentacle. Yes. You're done. We cancel yes. you. We yes. cancel you. We cancel your families. We cancel every plan in the kingdom regarding this family in Jesus' name. Your color is <sighs> Thank turning. You. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. We are related by blood, the blood of yes. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You're coming Thank up. You, Thank you, Jesus. How are you feeling? Thank you. Feeling better. <laughs> I'm still. You still have. Like, you still have stuff coming out of your head. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Jesus. I don't want nothing but Jesus, Daddy Amen. God, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> For anyone who's watching this in the occult. Your taskmaster is a liar. He says he will promise you this and he will promise you that, but I can absolutely without doubt prove him wrong. The enemy makes promises to people, but he'll never keep them. He says he will do this and he will do that, but he, can't, he won't keep them because we are created in the image of God and he has our image. He will never honor God, never. So anybody who is believing the enemy's lies, get out while you can in Jesus' name. Amen? That's Amen. It. Well, Michael, you look alive again. Well, praise Jesus. Yeah, his face looks bright. It's like- His face looks bright, Biggie. I know. Yeah. Did you see him turn, to just go totally pale white? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Look at here. God setting him free. Praise Jesus. There it is. Wow, your eyes. Praise Jesus. Look at the eyes. God. Glory. Yeah. Praise Jesus Christ. Wow. Okay, how do you feel? How's your back? Whatever. Tell it. Still. Get out. It's a lot better. It's a little bit crunchy. Yeah, get out, yeah. crunchy, in Jesus' name. <laughs> I the come in total, in Jesus' name. Yes. Body, yes, every yes. organ, release yes. every yes. thought yes. you've yes. let in. Everywhere you've let yes. them in. Every organ be purged, in Jesus' yes. name. Yes, Lord. Every organ be purged of the enemy, yes. in Jesus' name. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, Father, for it. resurrected life in Michael. All for your Daddy glory. God, I believe it. I receive it. Amen. Yes. Daddy, God, Move. Amen. Move around. Move your neck. Ouch. Out of the muscles. <laughs> Out of the muscles. Out of the Move muscles up. in Jesus' name. Yeah. Thank in you, Jesus Lord. Name. Now. <laughs> yes. yeah. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, your neck yes. is lining up so nicely right now. Thank you, Jesus. That's Praise wonderful. Jesus. That's where Jesus, Jesus is. So we're all good? Thank you, Jesus. Father, we want to thank you for all that you have done. We thank you for your word going forth. We thank you that we can repent. We thank you that repentance is a gift. You know those fallen angels? They can't repent. Uh -uh. It's not part of an angel's covenant. It's part of our covenant. We can say we're sorry and God forgives us. When we struggle, we don't have to hide it. We can talk to people we can trust about us and we stand in faith for that and God's gonna knock that enemy out. We are one body in Christ, amen? 
we give God all the glory. Lovely to see you. So there'll be another Bible study in two weeks, okay? Much love to you all. God bless you. JesusTodayMinistries.org. We are here to minister and to pray with you right in the comfort of your own home or your office. If you are seeking counseling, healing, deliverance, financial breakthrough, if you feel that there is a block or you're experiencing hindrance in your blessings, please know that God cares about you and all that concerns you. Hi, my name is Peggy Golden. I am a pastor and I have a master's in Christian counseling. God has made a way for people all over the world to receive counsel, healing, and deliverance through the use of technology right in your own homes. God heals, saves, and delivers his people every hour of the day. There is no distance for God. If you do not know God, if you are seeking him, or if you have found yourself in a situation that you need help getting out of, please know nothing is too hard for God. Please visit my website at JesusTodayMinistries.org. You can get to know more about me there. And please remember to read the testimonials of what others have experienced by contacting this ministry. There is no fee, but you are able to make a donation. For those who are in the States, as well as international clients, we can use voice or video chat on Skype, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, or Viber. I look forward to praying with you and all that God will do.